Oh, good morning. Um, it's Sunday morning, December the 17th. A nice cold, dark morning. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, just showing you a video of the MFED antenna I've installed at home. Uh, it's a resident antenna on 40, 20, 10 and Whisper it also 11. Um, it also functions surprisingly well on 17 and uh, made a couple of contacts on 17 as well. SWR is actually 2.5 so uh, easy for the tuner to bring in. It will be very efficient, but uh, gives you a couple of bonus bands. Um, it also, believe it or not, tunes on top band, but obviously that's not going to work very well. Um, and 15 is also okay, although um, 15 is closed at the moment. But um, there you go, not a bad little antenna. I'm just going to show you a bit more about it in a second. So I've got it mounted up on the squid pole there. Uh, the coil you can see is the section after that, it's for 40 metres. And then down below that you've got a uh, so the whole thing's about 12 metres long, 40 feet. So the final 2 metres is uh, after the 40 metre coil. So the 10 metre section means it's uh, pretty much uh, a resonant half wave on 20 and also, as a consequence, is a full wave on 10. I've got it sloping down the height, about 30 feet. So I'll show you in a minute when I open the gate. The, uh, the feed boxes, the match box is about 6 foot off the ground. Nothing too exotic about the uh, install. So there you go. Anyway, I'm just going to show you a bit more about details about the antenna. I bought it myself, so this isn't a, a review from a manufacturer who's given me the antenna. I've actually used it, and it's uh, doing okay. It's quite a good little antenna, this. So, um, yeah, next clip I'll show you the matchbox and how I've uh, mounted that. And then uh, also maybe include one or two clips of some contacts. Not many, because I haven't got much time this morning. But uh, there you go. Anyway, let's see what... Uh, how she's been mounted and I can show you what the matchbox looks like. So here you can see the uh, the matchbox. It's made by Hantenna. Uh, get them from eBay. Um, fed by RG58. It's only a rough and ready install today to show you how it works. Um, so there you go. Um, here's the matchbox. Uh, to make it easy for me to take off because if the wind blows I can move this matchbox and just put it under the tree somewhere and take the pole down if I have to so I've literally got two pretty sturdy screws hooks which I put into the wood cable tie I'm just trying to just lift it off if I want to so it's very much a, a you know a temporary install um, and a portable one I haven't put ground on yet I think I will See if it goes, maybe with a counterpoise on. Uh, probably at a half wave or quarter wave length of 40 or something to see what it's like. Try 10 meter counterpoise or I don't know, we'll see how we go. Uh, see if that does anything. But there you go. So uh, there you are, that's how she is. As you can see, she slopes up the top. As you can see, there's a tiny sag to it with the coil, but. I think that's about as good as she's going to get. And uh, quite fortunate, I've got quite a nice position to put her here. She's out of harm's way. As you can see, she's already above six feet here. Um, but I'll have to lift the, uh, the phone up to show you that. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much a fairly safe install. And there you are. Okay, that's the antenna. Let's show you some clips and some contacts. <coughs> Mike 6, Juliet, Victor, India. Uh, Juliet, Victor, India. Okay, thanks for your service. Last night, plus 10. Uh, operator name Yanis, Juliet, off November, India, Sierra. Mike 6, uh, Juliet, uh, Victor, India. Roger. Roger, Roger, Yanis. Good morning. My name is Tim, Tango, India. Mike, on the south coast of England. Just running the 10 watts into an N-fed antenna. And you are 5, 9, plus 20 dB. Excellent signal, my friend. Uh, QSL?
Bye bye, my friend. Yannis, have a great day. 73 and happy Christmas to you and your family. 73. Roger, five and five, my friend. Five and five, QSL. QSL, thank you, five, five. QRZ, Lima, Zulu, seven, one, zero. Uh, as you can see, on 40. Um, there we go, the noise falls about an S4, S5. Also, an end fed at home ain't bad. Especially when 90 as low as that is at the start. So I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. My doublet is about S3, S4, so. To be honest, I'm, I'm actually relatively pleased. I was expecting a very high noise floor, maybe S7, S8, S9. So, you know, I'm a foundation license holder. I'm running 10 watts. I've got to hear them very well to work them. So I, I, I'll take that. I'll take that, if I'm being honest. Um, as I say, I'm going to try and run the counterpoise at a later date. See if that helps. Maybe ground it. Obviously, you can see it, it was above uh, tarmac there, so I can't really... It's very hard to ground it. Um, but you know it is what it is. It's 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 not too bad. That's forty meters. Um, excuse the camera work here. It's just got to twenty. Kind of clear frequency. Uh, slightly lower lower noise floors you'd expect about S two, um, which is about an S point above the doublet again. So I, I, it's not bad. That is not bad. I'm quite fortunate with my local noise. I am running this off a battery, which probably helps. But there you go. And then on 10, which is the other resonant frequency for it. Oh, hang on. I'm in the, I've been playing about with this this morning. Let's just move it down. So it's somewhere near the SSB portion of 10. There you go, right about there. And uh, let's put it on USB. That's no noise at all. And just to prove it's resonant, it's sort of quick. Uh, there you go, under 1.5. Oh, sure, I've gone 27.395. I'm dumb, aren't I? Hang on. <laughs> I was on 11 metres then, aren't I naughty? Slap my wrists. Let's try 10 again. <whistles> A bit above 1.5. But within under 2 to 1. So that's all right. Uh, yeah, and the SWR is under 1.5 or less uh, than 14.20. It'll also... Uh, if I go down to 17, I think 17 is pretty much dead at the moment. Although I did make a contact earlier. Ooh. This is mad people on FTA. One, two. I made one contact earlier actually, but uh, sounds pretty dead. And uh, a bit high there, but if I then. It's engaged the tune, not tuner, not tuning it, but it's engaged the tuner. There you go. So, um, and she'll tune anyway, so that's all right. It's a bit of a bonus band, really. I haven't tried 15, 15's dead. Um, yeah, nothing happening on 15. No, no. And again, um, yeah, let's try 250. Going a bit high there. That's not too bad. Under two to one. And again, you can, I only engage it. I can see if I can tune it. And again, you know, this isn't resonant on 15 or on 17, so don't buy to expect you will be. This is purely a bonus, really. It probably won't radiate very well on 15 and 17, but, you know, something else to play with. And I've made a contact on 17, so there you go. There you go. That tunes. Oh, I can hear voices on 15, actually. And, uh, Very much in the back of the box, but okay, never mind. Anyway, I'll show you one or two clips now. I hope you'll be making contacts so far. Uh, excuse the uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not my birthday pen. This is my birthday today, that's my daughter's pen. Um, so we've been into Hungary, Portugal, Latvia, and Bulgaria, uh, mainly on 20, but of course, you can see the 18 137 there that was into Bulgaria. That wasn't a great copy, but he said it was 5 and 9, but I don't think so. He was 5 and 5 fading down, really. Uh, but good signals in two Latvia, Portugal, and Hungary on 20. 
This is a, the AHF bands aren't very good at the moment, but uh, there you go. So in short, um, I've uh, paid money for the antenna. He's not given it to me to review, like you see with some people. It works. Um, yeah, SWR is as published. Uh, um, you know, it fits into a garden which is uh, 30 by 30. Putting it crossways as a sloper, I can just about fit a 40 meter antenna in, as you can see. Um, it's a bit noisier than a doublet, but not massively. Uh, unfortunately, with the noise levels at my QTH, although I am surrounded by houses, so long may that continue. Um, and it works. I made a few contacts, so uh, there you go. Anyway, um, make of it as you will. I'll put details of where I got it from on the uh, on the um, uh, you know, the information bit at the bottom of the uh, underneath the video there. And you can have a look at that if you want to. Um, the price, I can't remember, 70 or quid, I think. So it wasn't cheap. Um, but I think it's as good, as well made, as what you'll buy maybe for the high-end fed ones. The uh, ones that you get from Holland, which are pretty expensive and extremely well made. I think this is on a par. Uh, on a par. I mean, it's, good, it's good quality antenna wire. It's polyweave wire. Um, all good. So uh, there you go. See what you think of it. And uh, I'll put some maybe clips now of me making one or two contacts on the end of the video as well. So 73, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the radio and uh, have a great Christmas and New Year as well. I hope you'll publish one or two more in the next couple of weeks. Take care, 73.